535, President Biden and Vice President Harris are set to sit down with Ukraine's president today as he presents what's known as his victory plan to end the war with Russia. Scripps News political correspondent Stephanie Liebergan takes a look at how much aid the U.S. has sent to Ukraine and what the country needs to win the war. I want peace for my people, real peace and just peace. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's message to the United Nations was clear. He wants Russia out of his country and he wants them held accountable for their war crimes. But he needs more help from international allies like the U.S. Wednesday, the Biden administration announced another $375 million in security assistance is going to Ukraine. That brings the total assistance since the war began to over $56 billion. But after two and a half years, some Republicans are opposed to spending more on a war with no apparent end in sight. Ukrainians view themselves as America's partner in taking out um, America's longtime adversary of Russia. We supply the weapons, they supply the lives of their very best people. And when our contribution slows down, their contribution goes up. It's as simple as that. Stephen Moore is the founder of the Ukraine Freedom Project, and he's been living in Kyiv since the early days of the war. He believes lawmakers who oppose sending more aid are downplaying the potential consequences if Russia wins. Ukraine is not Afghanistan. Ukraine is a country that wants to win. They're good partners. And, you know, we can leave Afghanistan and the world doesn't disintegrate. But if we leave Ukraine, then Putin could roll through Ukraine, and then he would be on the border with nine NATO countries. Oleksandr Komishin, a strategic advisor to Zelensky, told Scripps News the country's biggest need is money. The main point we are asking from our partner nations is the funding for procurement from Ukrainian producers. That's the fastest, that's the most efficient way how you can help us. Zelensky's victory plan, which includes military, political, diplomatic, and economic elements, will require fast action and support from Western allies, something Kyiv believes is crucial for any chance of success. Stephanie Liebergen, Scripps News, Washington.